Welcome to the Purple All Stars third video called Corona Questions. The questions are about the coronavirus and how we have had to change our lives because of it. This video is about how to stay healthy. We hope you find it helpful and easy to understand. Hello, my name is Kate. We all now know that there is a virus in our country that could make us really ill and possibly kill us. The virus is called coronavirus and some people call it COVID-19, but it's the same virus. In this video, we want to answer some of the questions you may have about the things that are happening because of coronavirus. One of those things is how to stay healthy. What exercises can I do during isolation to keep myself healthy? It is very important to take regular exercise to stay healthy. In lockdown, you will find that local leisure centres, gyms and sports centres are closed. If you enjoy taking exercise in these places, you won't be able to. There are many exercises we can do at home. Some people use their garden to run around or do some stretches in, or some people like dancing inside. There are plenty of classes that you can find on the internet. Please see the links below for some of these under this video. What kind of foods can I eat to stay healthy? It's important to have a healthy diet at all times. We may be tempted to eat more sugary or fatty foods because we are at home more. It's tempting when you know there are things like biscuits and crisps in the cupboard not to just eat the whole lot. When you go shopping, maybe choose healthier options. Choose things that are low in fat and sugar. You can use the traffic light labelling system on some packaging to help you. Green is healthy and red is not. Orange is medium. Uh, it's okay, shrug, I love dog, I walk. This is a really good question, Phil. And what a sleepy, cute dog too. Those of us who have dogs have been walking them during lockdown which has been part of our daily exercise. You should always be mindful of approaching strange dogs as you don't know if they could be dangerous. So I wouldn't stroke dogs we don't know. But what about stroking dogs we do know? Do animals carry coronavirus on their fur? The Blue Cross charity say that there is no evidence of pets or other animals being infected with the new coronavirus in the UK or that animals can give the disease to humans. It's always a good idea to wash your hands with soap and water after stroking your pets for protection against viruses or bacteria. What if I got a doctor's appointment scheduled and now I can't get to? Medical appointments remain one of the few reasons you're allowed to leave the house. That doesn't mean it's business as usual at your local GP, hospital or dentist. Most doctors will chat to you over the phone. They may ask you to email a picture, but if you have to be examined, they will tell you what to do and where to go. But you know, if you have symptoms of coronavirus, a high temperature, continuous cough and a loss of taste and smell, you should not visit your GP surgery. If you have any of these symptoms, you can have a test to see if you have the virus. Just go to the NHS website and follow the instructions there. When will the world get back to normal? Great question, Tom. And it's one that everyone is thinking and it's one that I can't answer. Some countries across the world are relaxing their lockdown rules. Boris Johnson says that we have to stay alert for a few more weeks. He doesn't know when the situation will end, but we do know that by staying at home, we are keeping ourselves and others safe. The world will get back to normal one day, but not for quite a while yet. All we can do is stick to the guidelines and stay healthy. We hope that these videos have been helpful. Thank you for watching, stay well and stay safe.